What's up guys? Today I'm going to take you through how I built my deadlift platform for my garage gym. Uh, I based it off of Alan Thrall's video, so I'll post that link below. Basically, I did everything exactly the same, except I added some stain and polyurethane finish, so that way you could wipe the sweat right off. Um, super easy clean, platform works great. Let's check it out. My name's Nakoda. Welcome to Beyond Capability. Alright, we're going to start this video off with things you need. A drill, an impact zone, which is optional, a box of one and a quarter inch screws and a box of two inch screws, a tape measure, a sander, also optional, along with it, sandpaper, 220 grit, wood finish, also optional. Towels, otherwise known as rags. Oh, a polyurethane coat, optional. And don't forget your knife. So to start this off, you're gonna to wanna to clean your area first. I had to move all my mats out of the way and give it a good sweep. After that, there was still a lot of dust, but I did what I could do. So first you're going to lay down your OSB particle board, uh, you're going to lay two down vertically and you're going to overlap it with two other pieces. So that's four boards down and they'll overlap each other. Once you get your base down you're going to want to screw it together which I obviously forgot to film. Um, after that you're going to lay your hardwood down um, onto it. You're going to lay it in the middle of the seam and please make sure that you measure the sides and make sure that it's right in the center. So with the base built, you can move over to your horse stall mat, just mark the center, uh, use a straight edge, and use your knife to cut through it. Uh, this is a four foot by eight foot mat, and it cuts pretty easy. Uh, it's nice to have another person there with you, especially when it comes to the final cut, so that way you can both hold the sides and it'll, it'll cut the whole thing real nice. Just make sure that you place the factory edge against the hardwood. Uh, you can see me here uh, switching it uh, because I didn't do that in the beginning and it, it looks better like this. Next you're going to uh, screw those horse stall mats down. I marked center of the board and then center of those uh, screws. So I believe there's about five screws holding down each edge. Now after, after you do this, your deadlift platform's all ready to be used. Uh, but I decided I wanted to sand it down, stain it to make it look nice, uh, and also put a polyurethane coat on it so that way the sweat could right, uh, wipe right off and it'd be very easy to clean. So before you stain it, you're going to want to sand it with that uh, 220 grit uh, sandpaper. This will make it a nice, fine, smooth, even finish. And then I went ahead and wiped it down with mineral spirits. This removes all the dust and makes sure that uh, when you apply the stain, that it really gets in there. Now you're going to apply the stain and you're going to get it uh, soaked in. The longer you let it set, the darker it's going to be. So I really coated it on there, let it sit for about 15 minutes, and then wiped it down and you really want to make sure that you blend every all the splotches in so that way it comes out even and looks good now i laid down a barrier uh, just because i'm a little ocd and i like things to try and stay nice um, but after this you're going to go ahead and, and spray your polyurethane coat man try saying that time five times fast um, anyways you're going to put your varnish on uh, make sure it's clean again and just try and keep all the dust off of it um, spray it down even if you got a spray version they also have wipe on versions i just uh, personally like the spray on version uh, best All right, now to add bands, Alan Thrall has a great video on this. All you need are D-rings, some quick links, and 3 8 lags.
So you'll see me here uh, measuring. I wanted to be sure that I had enough slack in the bands and uh, center to center on those brackets. That's the center bolt to the other center bolt is 38 and three quarter inches. Um, I would maybe extend that out to uh, 39 inches total just to give it a little bit more tightness. But uh, I'm six foot one and when I pull all the way to the top, I feel like that band is gonna rip me down. Um, and that's using the green band, which I think is about 50 pounds at full extension. Um, so I believe that my 38 and three quarter inch uh, measurement is fairly good. So these work pretty well. Uh, my only complaint is it does kind of take a little bit of time to actually get this nut uh, all the way screwed off and put the band on. Um, but I mean, it's, I don't know, roughly $40 cheaper than the actual band pegs. So, I mean, you can pick your battles. Um, honestly, it works just fine. Uh, in the future, I would probably buy smaller C rings that fit better so that way it doesn't pull on it like this. Other than that though, uh, it works absolutely great. All right, thanks so much for joining me today. I'm gonna post a new video on Friday, like I said earlier, showing the whole garage gym off. So stay tuned, uh, stupid car. Anyways, you guys know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe. Please share it with your friends so that way we can get my program out there. I'll see you next time.